Isolation has always defined this spot. It's got a lot of green and it's surrounded three sides by water. It is the Whatcom County town separated from the mainland and the rest of the lower 48. It's great for outside and activities and water. A border town like no other in the state. Point Roberts, Washington has a fluky history dating back to the Treaty of 1846 when British and American negotiators decided to slice up the territories at the 49th parallel, leaving this 4.8 square mile exclave since in U.S. control. Separated from the rest of the country by two different border crossings. Never much of a problem until now. How much longer can you, can you keep going? I don't know. Tamara Hansen runs the Saltwater Cafe, which has a view of the international waters and the heyday of the point at a time when bands like Bachman Turner Overdrive used to play here to thousands of Canadians, many on Sundays, trying to escape British Columbia's then stiff liquor laws. She still relies on her northern neighbors to keep her business humming. I rely on a, approximately 90% of my business uh, from the Canadian, the Canadians that come, the seasonal people. We make our money in the summer to get through the winter. Yet COVID and the strict essentials only border closure has made it near impossible to keep the spigot flowing. Thank you so much. There is no regular Washington State Ferry here. The only way you can get to Point Roberts is by air or sea. U.S. Department of Transportation data shows nearly 3 million people crossed into Point Roberts 20 years ago, 1.4 million in the 2019 calendar year. But there have only been 217,000 this year, with most of those happening pre-pandemic. It's led to drastic drops in business in this 1,300-person community where not a single person has tested positive for the virus. Take the marina, for example. Normally, this time of year, the locals say this area would be jumping with all sorts of people, live concerts and the like. But right now, it's only at 20% capacity. So is it a good thing, bad thing, that you have all the merchandise and you've got all the orders fulfilled and you've... You've got a full house, well, a good it's, thing, uh, but... it's a mixed blessing, isn't it? Just ask the folks at TSB Shipping, whose shelves are lined with orders from Canadian buyers. Tires, a lot of tires, car parts in general, home decor. A cottage industry in normal times. Yeah. They can't come to collect their stuff, so there we are, yeah. Yeah, so we just have all yeah. of this volume and nowhere for it to go until they're able to come to come across again. No receiver fees has meant no income, unemployment, and a lack of other jobs to even look for. They are all reasons why neighbors are pushing both federal governments to make an exemption. Since nobody on Point Roberts has tested positive for COVID, I don't know if there's a way to make it a little, make an exception. Business is here down, down 80 percent, down 80 percent. They can't survive through this winter. Like, it's not possible. Brian Calder was raised here and is a former Vancouver, B.C. city councillor. Point Roberts is totally unique and therefore requires a unique solution. Washington Governor Jay Inslee late last week joined a chorus of elected leaders trying to barter for a border solution with U.S. and Canadian officials. Both state senators, along with Congress members Susan Del Bene and Rick Larson, have also chimed in. If I had known it wasn't going to open this summer, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have stayed open. I'm losing money. I haven't paid myself since March. Tamara believes the future of The Point is hanging on a change. We really need that border open to survive. In Point Roberts, Washington, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.